Hey guys, my name is Matt Hernandez and today we're outside on location and we're going to take senior portraits of Hillary. Okay, so we're on location here at Medley Farms in Paducah, Kentucky, and as I said, we're gonna take some senior portraits of Hillary. And the basic lighting setup I have right now is one commercial strobe and a Rapid Box XXL with both layers of diffusion in it. And the reason that I'm using that is because with girls, especially when I shoot senior portraits, or really any type of portraits, unless I'm going for something edgy, you want, you want the light as soft as possible. So the bigger the light source, the softer the light. We've got both layers of diffusion in it. For the first setup, we've got the light about 45 degrees to the left, and I've got her on the fence. And the reason I picked that was when we, when we pulled up in the driveway, that's one of the first things I noticed was this nice black fence. And if I shoot at a shallow depth of field, I know that I can get her nice and sharp, but the fence will be out of focus towards me and out of focus back there in the background. If I shoot at 2.8, that's also gonna blur out those trees and the leaves back there, and it's gonna look really nice. So we're gonna keep the strobe power turned down. That way I can shoot at a, at a low f-stop, get a shallow depth of field, blur out those, those uh, trees back there, the leaves and all that, and kind of get rid of that so I can separate her off the background. Before I bring my light in, I always test the ambient light and get the scene to look the best that I think it will. And then I bring the light in afterwards to fill in shadows if there are any. And so obviously I just shot natural light to do that. And I've got my settings. I want to shoot at a shallow depth of field, like I said. So I'm at 2.8, 1,250th of a second, ISO 100. And I, you can see right now that there's a lot of nasty shadows right here on her face. Okay, so Hillary, turn your head this way just a little bit. So right here, this is, this is pretty terrible like that. Nobody's gonna wanna buy a photo like that. You can see her eyelashes coming down on her cheek. And even if she turns just a little bit this way, you can still see some right there on her cheek that I don't particularly like. This would work if we had to make it work, but there's a tree about 20 feet this way, and we can just have her move down a few feet and put her in the shade, and that will take care of a lot of that problem. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we've moved her into the shade. You can see there's a tree right behind her now. It's creating slightly dappled light, but it's still shading her quite a bit more than if she was just out in the open, which is a big advantage. She won't squint as much because she's in the shade, and we're not gonna get the, that nasty light on the side of her face. So um, my idea with this is to have her kind of use the fence as a prop because it's always good to have people, you know, give them something to do rather than just standing there. Um, so I've got her arm up on the fence, and then another thing that I've had her do too is turn that way just a little bit, Hillary. So you can see I've got her weight shifted back. So when you're posing girls, it's always good to think about that because if they shift their weight towards you, then anything towards the camera looks bigger. You don't want their hips to look bigger, obviously. So putting her weight back on her back leg, creating that S curve with her front leg is one thing I always try to do. And then also you'll notice her, her arm is down, which is fine, but anybody's gonna look thicker if their arms are beside their waist than if they put them up on their hips or pull them out. So I'm gonna have her put her, her right arm up on her hip now and bring your elbow just around this way a little bit. So, so there, now you can see the separation between her body and her arm, which is gonna make her look more slender. And then also you'll notice I've got her hair over her right shoulder. The reason that I've done that is because you can have it on, in front on both sides, but I like to see the neckline over here. And that's also gonna allow her to do, to, to, to vary it a little bit with her pose because she can take her hand off her hip, bring it, bring it up to her hair and kind of like just play with her hair like a lot of girls do. So just, just kind of like mess with it, maybe even her earring, but that gives a few variations of the same pose right there. So, um, so now I'm gonna take a few shots and see what we get. Okay, so we just wrapped up taking some shots of Hillary outside on the farm along this fence. I went over my lighting setup and why I was using the XXL Rapid Box to get really nice soft light on her. I went over some posing tips for senior girls or just girls in general, and hopefully you guys could take something away from that. So we appreciate you watching and we'll see you again next time.